Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. The other day, I took a little time to watch one of the movies that I didn't back on a crowdfunding campaign. I had been paying attention to it, I had been thinking about backing it, um, and one for one reason or another, I never uh, pulled the trigger and backed it. But it got made, yeah, well, it got funded, it got made, it came out, it's won some awards at film festivals, uh, so I figured I'll give it some time, I'll watch it, I'll spend the 90 minutes and uh, the couple of bucks to, to get it, and I did, and it wasn't anywhere near as good as I'd hoped it would be. The name of the movie is Nightmare Code. And its uh, basic premise is that there is this hunk of software that is designed to predict human behavior, which is, in and of itself, a solid concept that um, has been done before, but has a lot of different permutations that you can go through to make it into a kind of thrilling techno-horror film. Uh, in this case, uh, the, the extra added twist was that the original lead programmer uh, for this hunk of software uh, killed his uh, development team, or killed a bunch of his development team and management team, and then killed himself. A new guy has now been brought in to finish the code so it can get released on time, and the uh, corporate partner who was funding it can uh, reap the rewards of all the wonderful, wonderful things uh, that this predictive software uh, could do. Like, you know, identify terrorists and shoplifters and all sorts of other things that sound really good on the surface, but if you dig down a little bit, uh, you get into the whole pre-crime idea. And, well, that in itself is kind of scary and far too close to reality. Uh, so the story rolls on from there as uh, this new guy goes through the code. He's got his own problems in his personal life, and he's played relatively well. I mean, all the performances are good enough. It's a little indie film, so um, the bar isn't exceptionally high. We're not talking anything Oscar-worthy, but they are very solid performances. And a lot of the cinematography is not bad. What they did that really didn't work for me is the thing that they have gotten the most uh, positive comments on and pretty much what the whole selling point of uh, the, the uh, crowdfunding campaign was is that they shot it in a relatively innovative, different way, which is, by all means, interesting, but I don't think it was utilized as well as it could have been. What they did was most of the movie uh, was shot from a few different angles at any given time, and four angles were almost always on the screen. Now, this was set up so that it would kind of be the security cameras uh, in the office, uh, the, the portable goggles in the office that were all the eyes of this computer system always watching. Which is, again, a fantastic concept. And they played with time a little bit in these, which sometimes worked better than others. Uh, but it was distracting, because you were never sure which of these boxes you should be looking at to be able to follow the story. And sometimes, because of the way they played with time, you'd have things going on in all four of them that were not happening concurrently. Uh, that had happened in different time periods without a clear notation uh, of where your focus should be, and the sound would switch. The the uh, sound would switch from one to another at times. There was a set of interviews that went on uh, where they did that, which would have been absolutely fantastic if there had been some other visual cue, so I would have known where to look in order to have the image that goes with the sound. Uh, I can understand a few different reasons why they may not have done that. It's a, definitely a stylistic choice, and it seems to have worked for lots and lots of people. 
Uh, again, they have won awards at, at film festivals. They have had a lot of positive stuff said about them. Uh, it's not by any means an awful film. And the filming style is definitely different and unique. It just didn't work for me. A and I think that uh, part of that is because it is so uh, experimental and unique. And I don't think they've quite figured out how to utilize it absolutely best because I can see with a little bit more polish and a little bit more uh, meat to a story uh, that it could be an absolutely fantastic uh, storytelling device. Uh, one of the things they did not make good use of is they put the idea out there that this system would uh, go over recordings of stuff during tests and then if you went back and watched the videos again they would not be accurate to what happened because the software had done its prediction and overwritten reality with its prediction in the archive which is a fantastic idea and if they had done that better with the uh, split up screen I think we would have, uh, I, I would have gotten more out of it. I would have uh, been much more intrigued by that by trying to figure out which one of those was the thing that actually happened. Uh, and I think that would have played better into the escalating sense of paranoia that they were crafting, which did work, especially for anyone who's ever done all night coding sessions, uh, definitely worked for that. Uh, but I think it would have been more tense and more gripping if there had been that larger question about what is reality going on here. But again, people have liked it. Didn't really do it for me, but I'm glad I saw it. And I'm glad they made it. And I hope the next movie they make, they build upon the stuff that they've done in this one and make use of the momentum they have to produce something even better, uh, even, you know, scarier, even more disturbing, because they've, they've got the ideas. It's just the execution that I think needs a little bit of tweaking. So if you get the chance, uh, check out Nightmare Code. Uh, it's available for purchase on Amazon and a bunch of other places. You can rent it uh, or buy it digitally. Uh, on iTunes or Google Play or a few other places. I'll put the link to, uh, to their website uh, down, in the, uh, down in the comments. So check it out, and if you have seen it, let me know what you think down in the comments, uh, because I, it was an interesting concept. It was an interesting way of doing it. It just didn't work for me. And if it worked for you, I want to know how it worked for you, if it worked for you. Uh, so... If you like the stuff I talk about here, give me a thumbs up right down there. If uh, you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button uh, so that you can get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who would be interested in uh, the sort of stuff that I've been talking about, share this video with them so they can get involved with the conversation too. And uh, that's it for tonight. I'm Kier. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.